Lots of changes are being proposed for the upcoming year, and even more exciting days of changed lives are just around the corner. Now, if you want to peek around that corner and hear on the Onward Vision, then come on out to our Onward Vision celebration on Sunday afternoon, February 17th, at our Newcastle site, 3 o'clock. That's right. It's going to be in the afternoon, and this is your first official notice of the annual business meeting, our Onward Vision celebration. So mark your calendar. Yeah, will do. Everybody's invited, new members are going to be received, and all members will be invited to vote on important matters. Our Dominican missions team is actually in the Dominican right now serving and we could be praying for them, but aren't you supposed to be on that trip? <laughs> yes, I'm actually there right now. We pre-record these announcements, so I'm not actually in two places uh, is at Is the once. Weather, weather warm? I'm not there right now. I technically am. Hey, if you want to find hey, it's out Sunday. if the weather is warm and the things that are happening, make sure to follow us on our social media pages on Instagram and on Facebook to stay up to date on all the things that we're doing. Yeah, and we're asking everyone to just keep them in your prayers this week as they're working and serving over there in the Dominican. Dinner for Six is coming up February 23rd, and this is an event where we encourage everybody to get involved because we want to really get to know other people outside of our circle of friends. And so at the Point Church, we've created an event for six people to sit around and have a meal together and just get to know each other. And so Jeff Schwarzentrooper has sat down with people that participated in it last year around their dinner table and just kind of interview them so you can better understand what this experience looks like. So tell us, what made you guys interested in first uh, signing up for Dinner for Six last year? We were interested in the idea of meeting people at the church that we don't interact with every day. There's lots of people that you see coming and going between the two services that you've never really even talked to. So it just gave us a chance to, to meet some different people. Yeah, outside of our regular group, small group, and us being downstairs volunteering in Sunday school, that yeah, we don't get to stop and chat with as many mm. people. And so yeah, this opened up our our home to some new people. Mm -hmm. So it's been a little over a year. Do you remember, what was the meal that you ate? What did you serve? You guys were the host, what did you serve? Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it was good, whatever it was. Because <laughs> she made it. So. I think it was lasagna. <laughs> So you remembered everyone else's meal. I did, I did, not but not my had. own. Yes, I well, no more. big deal with that. So was there anything uh, memorable that happened at the night of Dinner for Six last year? Well, it was kind of funny when we were uh, waiting for people to come, like they knew whose home they were coming to, but we had no idea who uh, was bringing the dessert and the appetizers. So I was in the bathroom getting ready and uh, I seen Krista and Dean and Sophie pull in our driveway. And I remember yelling out to Aaron, Aaron, Dean and Krista are here. I hope they brought dessert. Yes, <laughs> Dean is known for his yes. good dessert. Yes. So yeah. that he, was a blast. He came through. You know, I'd say the, the meal was great, but just- uh, <laughs> Whatever it was. Yeah, yeah whatever it was. Whatever but, it was. <laughs> but uh, hanging out with them, for the evening and just talking and stuff was really what we remember. Yeah, so no, it was just such a fun night and the conversation was going so easily between all of us. And uh, then we just kind of all didn't realize how, how late it was getting that they didn't even leave till almost 11 o'clock at night. So oh, yeah. it was, yeah, it was a really fun night. So what yeah. you're saying then is we were very good matchmakers in this uh, dinner for six pairing. So is there anything else that you would love to just tell people this is why it was beneficial for us to sign up for it and what we would have missed out on if we didn't do it? Is there anything else that you'd be able to share with them or encourage them to take this step? I would encourage anybody to do it because it's just a great chance to get out there and meet people that you just don't get a chance to, to see in regularly walking in and out of the service. And uh, if it doesn't work out, then you're only at what, two hours? It's just a <laughs> Not a big deal, right? But, and the benefits are, are well worth it. Mm -hmm. So we were, we were really happy to do it and, and we'd love to do it again. So we got to hear from the Spencers and how their experience was last year. They loved it and they're encouraging all of you to sign up for Dinner for Six. Yeah, so your action item today is simply grab that Dinner for Six card, fill that out, pass that in, and we're gonna make sure all that detail is firmed up so you can enjoy Dinner for Six with us on February 23rd.